Hi everyone, I'm Dick Beardsley. Welcome to The Fishing Scene. Folks, do we have a show for you today. I am so excited. We are on the Red River of the North and I'm fishing with catfish guide Kevin Fick of Ashby, Minnesota. Kevin, thanks for having us out today. I am excited to be here on the Red River. Thank you, Dick. Yeah, and now this is a, a wonderful fisheries here, isn't it? It is. It's a tremendous channel cat fishery, and what we are targeting today are the channel catfish, and they are one of the three largest species of cats in North America, and um, hopefully they cooperate. Yeah. Now, Kevin, you have a, a guide service, and uh, you mainly do cat fishing. You also do duck hunting. Tell us a little bit about that and maybe a phone number that folks could get a hold of you at. Our business name is Otter Tail Adventures out of, like you said, Ashby, Minnesota, and our phone number is 218-747-2434. We guide duck hunters, mainly diving type ducks. There's a little bit of goose hunting, and it is some catfishing, a lot of catfishing. Yep, and we're going to go out and get some catfish right now here on the Red River, folks. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss this on the fishing scene. There you go. This has got the circle hook, right? Yep. I don't think he's a real big one. He's not really pulling the rod down. But... He's fighting okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have on here for bait? The... We have gizzard shad on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. is a cat, but he's about a pound and a half. Yeah. We're going to. And I'll show you something about these catfish. When we pull out, we're going to have two different looks to our fish today. Okay. And this one here is a juvenile. He is not able to spawn yet. And you're oh, really? See, if you get into the southern states, you see how this fish has some black spots yep. on him. But these are also starting to disappear. Okay and this fish will be a breeder probably next year. You're also gonna catch some fish today that are in that five and six pound range that also have these spots. That means that fish has the genetics to be really one this big sooner or later. You know, they're, they're really a pretty looking fish, yeah. aren't oh, they? Oh, they have some very fine color in them. Yeah. And the cleaner the water, or clearer the water, I shouldn't say clean, clear. The clearer the water, the more vibrant the colors become. Okay. And if we go to, let's say, one of these tributaries, the otter tail, the Cheyenne, but something like that, these fish will be black. They will. They'll be very dark. Okay, so they kind of go with the color of the yep. of their surroundings. Yep. They will adjust. They will bring out as much color naturally as their surroundings no. call for a need. Unlike a bullhead, they don't have any like. Do they have the sharp? Uh... Yep. A catfish has yep. a spine here. Okay. They have one here, and they have one here. The common misconceptions, and this is true in bullheads too. These are not a poisonous spine. Right. The only thing that will happen to you is like touching burning metal on shore. It. It's just the mucus on the fish. If it gets into a cut, it just burns for exactly. a little bit. You're just yep. not used to having it in your system, yep. but it, there is no poison in these fish. All right. They have sensory organs. This entire fish is a taste bud. Okay. And where he has it the most, there's over 10,000 per square inch on these barbells. There's about 2,000 per square inch on his skin. Wow. He is a moving mouth. It is, yeah. No, you can kind of talking to it. He's talking, it's just cartilage. Sure. In between these pectoral fins that he rubs together. Yeah. And you can actually feel it vibrate when he does it. Sure. So, but that is a Red River Channel. All right. And there he goes. Good deal. These are a gizzard shad, and there are three kinds of shad in North America. There is a gizzard, a thread fin, and the American shad. The American shad lives out on the East Coast, and that fish can attain a size from the tail about to my hand and it is a good bait fish. The gizzard shad, and I'll show you why it's called that in a second, is, is very more common. We do not have them in the northern stretches of Minnesota, but they are a super oily fish. It's a lot like a smelt or a anchovy or something like that. And then there's a thread fin, and the thread fin is just a minute species, and the quality of it for a bait fish, they're too small to bother with. But when we cut these fish open, they have in them a hard ball and it's right here and this is actually a 
the gizzard, and this is just a hard, hard substance. Whoops. And when these fish are eating, you see some of the green in there. That is the plankton that these fish feed on. And if you can catch fresh ones and you cut them open, a lot of times we'll fish with just the gizzard. Really? And you look for the gizzards that have the color. Okay. And that means that for some reason it will attract the fish more. Interesting. Oh, 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 jeepers. Looked up on the deal and is he there? Yep. Okay. Oh, this one, this one's tugging good. Take your clicker deal. Where's my clicker thing? Right here. Right there. Oh, there we there. go. Yep. Thank you. Oh, he just got off. Did he? Yep. Ah, oh, dang. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll get that back was, out there. Because... That was probably my fault there. I was, I maybe not, didn't lift up on, on it enough. Gosh darn it, that one felt pretty good too. There's more Red River cats when we return. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. How's it feel? Uh, I don't think he's an old giant, but probably in that three pound range. All of a sudden, I could see when you broke the rod, you could see yeah. kind of going with it. Now, that was on the frog, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You're right, you can't see him until you get him right up. <laughs> you'll see yeah. the sinker, you'll see the swivel, and you won't see the fish until he's right here at the boat. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. There he is. A little bit longer. Well, there, everyone is getting bigger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so by, the, by, the end of, by the end of the day, we'll have some hogs in here. That is. But now, if a person was looking, if we wanted to keep some to eat, this would be about as big as you'd want to probably yep. keep, right? Yep. Oh, without a doubt. Yep. Yeah. They start to take on a, a fatty and a muddy taste, and they just pick up the chemicals. Any river is going to have some, but sure. Yep. And you see, now nice. this fish is a little bit lighter tone. Yeah. He just hasn't seen as much sunlight. Okay. Um, and and a lot of people are worried about holding these bullheads and catfish, and you see, you right. put your hand like this. You and, bet. And that is the best way to hold these fish. They can't hurt you. And here he goes. Yep. Get him out. And... Oh, there. There you got him. All right, way to go, Kevin. That's a little nicer. It's a good deal. Good deal. So he must have, you must have felt him start coming back on that, huh? Yeah, he was just nibbling on the end. That's a nice. Yeah. yeah. Here, one, two, hook. Uh, you got one there? I think there might be. <laughs> See if we can't grab ourselves a double. Should I, here. And I gotta flip this one down, right? Yep. Let's see if one. back there once. There? Nope. Nope. Should I just put it back in the holder then? Yeah, you can just set it down. Okay. This one's bulldogging towards the bottom. There he hits some sticks on the way All up. right. You can feel him bouncing off the trash on the bottom. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's one They're getting bigger. Star. Five pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's a dandy. One and a half. Now you can see how rough this fish is. Yeah. Now that I got him in. This is what he was doing when he was coming in, and I said he had bounced off of the bottom. Yep. You see the discoloration in his head, aside from the mark. Yep. And his head is a little on the bluer or purplish right. order. A male channel catfish, his head will become black okay. at spawn time. And you'll hear these same fish referred to as a willow cat. Oh, yeah. or other things yep. like that. It is a male channel cat and spawn. Ah. Some guys will think, oh, I got a blue cat or I've got a willow cat, and it's yeah. not. It's, it's just, it's a channel cat and spawn. And his whole body actually was almost black at one time this summer. I'll be darned. There? there go, yeah. All right, Kevin. This isn't nothing real big, but he is most definitely a catfish. We're just taking him right to the boat. <laughs> About a pound and a half. Oh, a smaller one? Yeah. There, he put on the binders a little bit. And they're on the bite though here now. Yeah, they are. 
he got into some sticks, he'll be a little beat Oh, up. hey, that's not a bad one. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we're going to get a few other rods up closer to shore. So now that hit that frog. Yep. And that's why you're throwing those frogs up towards shore because that's when they could jump. That's where they're going to be probably, right? We're probably looking for them up next to shore. Now, did the fish know just because the nights, days are getting shorter that those frogs are going to be starting to migrate towards the river now? Or I don't know. Okay. Don't, it's like a duck migrating. They, uh, they just... Yeah. Just, boy, they are just... They're really a pretty fish. Well, there he goes. Oh, Jesus. jumping. That Mexican jumping bean there. Get some energy left in him. Well, maybe we can still catch another fish yeah, out of this hole, I, I mean, think. what it's the heck, a, huh? There isn't much left of the frog, but they see him after it, so I'm going to... Yeah, might as well, if you, <laughs> if you can thread her back on there, huh? This one feels pretty good. Is he? This is that circle hook, so I didn't yep. have to... Yep. This came on that uh, shad, didn't it? Yep. On the head. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh, a nice oyster. cat. Nice cat. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. This is fun. Come here, buddy. All there right. Him. He's coming in. Yeah, there's a nice cat, huh? Is everyone cranking on that one? I think it was just us when we moved the boat. Oh, swayed, sure. Swayed a little bit. Now, how big will that one go, Kevin? This one's about a five pounder. Okay, yeah. And nice. he's a nice, clean Boy, fish. Boy, just no. a pretty fish. He's not. Look at that. Just a dandy. He is a, a nice, nice Boy, the fish. bigger they get, the longer their front whiskers get, too, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Um, you know, that is. You know, I don't know how any point, when you look at that fish, that's as pretty as a golden walleye in my book. I mean, that is, just, that is just a gorgeous fish. They are nice, and they are a strong fish. Oh. This is all muscle. It's got to be, and I suppose because part of it, they're fighting that current all the time, and they got to be strong. Yep. Look at that. Still to come on the fishing scene, the big one. Just engage the reel handle. Okay. And then, and then lift up. Get him? Yep. Oh, nope. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. He's coming. <laughs> that swimming. rod is such a big honker, too. He started swimming makes, this it way. It doesn't do a little fish justice. It's not as big as that last one, but <laughs> no. hey, it's a fish, man. <laughs> That's right. Boy, just so all of just, a sudden, they just started going on the bite, didn't they? Yeah, on the fish, too. They aren't on the. No, that's right. Where last spot, they were on the frog. Yep. Yeah. This one will have spots, I bet you. You can just lift him right up over the side. Okay. That rod there can handle it. Well, you got that down in pretty good, huh? Yeah, he did. Let's see if we can. Now, that doesn't usually happen with a circle very, hook, does it? Very, very rare. Very rare. If I can't get it out decently, I'll just cut the line. You bet. Yeah, we're going to do that, too. No sense to damage no, it. No, that's the thing to do here, folks. You know. Any of your fish, whether it be catfish, walleyes, you don't want to go digging after a hook. That's what'll kill them. Yeah, you see, he's already. Yep. We'll get him back in the water right away, and you bet, he'll be okay. Yeah.
Yes. Is John? Yeah. All right, Kevin. He's into the trees. <laughs> <laughs> You got him on a frog, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Looks like he's a little better, or is he in a stick? I think he's in a stick, yeah. There he's coming. Feels like a better fish, though. Lead him on there. Yep. Oh, we got a little more heft on him. There you go. Yeah, there. Nice. Nice fish. Oh, man. This, this is a good fish, Captain. Oh, he's a dandy. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Oh, look at this cat. Oh, he's a hog! Oh, baby! Look at the size of this one! There we go. That's what we come to the river for. Yeah, look at that one! Oh, wow! That man that is... Oh, Kevin, that is a Red dandy! River Channel Cast oh, right there. Oh, my gosh! What a dandy! Holy cow! Oh, man. That is a fish of a lifetime for me for whole oh, my goodness. <laughs> you cannot go just everywhere uh -uh. and catch channel catfish that look like this. Oh, hold on. Look this way, Oh, oh, oh dandy. He is as wow. good as oh. he's as good as they come. Yep. What this a... is a true beast. Oh, what a dandy. Small. Look at the head on that thing. Jeez. <laughs> Man. He is a big one. Oh. Dick, do you want to put him back? Put your fingers right, right underneath that cheek pad. And he, you're going to know you're in the right spot when it hurts. <laughs> We're all going to fall over. Oh, man. Let's get her back in here. Or him. Or... That's a him. Thank you, buddy. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Oh, what a well, dandy. There we got him. Got him? Yep. Let's get this little one in here. How's it feel? He's a decent fish. Don't stay out of them trees. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice cat. Way to go, Kevin. Good job. Look out for that one behind you. Too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, that's awesome. And there he well, is. folks, hey, that's going to wrap up our catfish show for today. A big thank you to Kevin Fick from Ashby, Minnesota. What a great catfish guide he is. We'll have his name, phone number, how you can get a hold of Kevin to get out and do some great catfishing on the red like we did today. A big thank you to Kevin and, uh, of course, to my camera gal, Raina Benson. And folks, please remember to practice selective harvesting. By doing so, we'll continue to have great fishing for years to come. I'm Dick Beardsley. Thanks for joining me today on the fishing scene. I'll see you out on the water.